So our first step into getting the texture into Pop's Track Builder to use the X Packer utility, which is part of the new release. Um, what we're going to do is create a new X Pack. Put in some details. And then move to the Objects tab and click the Add button. And here we're going to import our 3DS file. Notice that the units of measurement are meters. Uh, that should be consistent with whatever you've used in 3D Studio, uh, which we have. So we're going to import 3DS and highlight our 3DS file that we exported in the previous step. And you can um, set various properties here, like whether you can collide with the object, whether it's movable, whether it receives shadows, and so on. Um, and you can have a play with that and see how it's set up. Uh, we're also just going to center the object on the ground, which means that that central point that we took care to set in the previous step in 3D Studio uh, places the object correctly. So you can see it's <coughs> connected to the ground at zero meters. It's 79 centimeters high and 79 centimeters wide. Um, and save that. Move to the Materials tab. You'll need to just point it to your uh, DDS file. It doesn't pick this up automatically. So you need to click the Load button, point it to your DDS. And then you'll just, in this particular instance, because we've got transparency, we want to set this to Use Alpha. And you probably want to set the uh, material name to something sensible. We'll use a wall just for now. And save that. And we just <coughs> zip that X back up to Bob's Track Builder so it's accessible in BTB and then we can close the X Packer tool and launch BTB itself. So what I'm going to quickly do here is just, uh, just create a little track, put some terrain around the edges of it. And then if we just uh, zoom in here, click File, Expansion Packs and enable your uh, new expansion pack. And now if you go to the Edit Objects button, <coughs> you should see that you can drag in your object. And there we go. If you use the Edit tab, we can move it around. We can uh, rotate all the usual options, what we might want to do. And there you have it. Probably want to fiddle with the uh, the height. You can see the dog seems to be hovering a little at the moment. But uh, you can use the uh, move coupled with holding down the Y button to move that dog up and down. Or tilt it over. But you get the idea. It's just a... Uh, there to show the show the point. There you have it.